The sport of canoe polo has been around in Canada since about 1994, with close to 500 people actively involved. The game in North America is better known as kayak polo. Obviously we play it in kayak, so it's, sometimes it's a bit confusing when we uh, call it uh, canoe polo. Right. People get a different impression of what it actually looks like. What it looks like is a boatload of fun. Athletes from all over North America were at Dodds Lake near Innisfale to take in this training camp. Let's go, Speedy, come on. We have the international coaches that come and help us out as well, so it gives a little bit of an international feel to it, and we're just basically trying to develop the sports as much as we can in, in Canada. So. Players of all ages took in the camp, including some who are part of the U14 Zone 4 team, which is headed to the Summer Games in Lethbridge. When we go to Summer Games, we have a day for polo, which is this game over here. Uh, we have a day for slalom, which is racing. And then we have a day, uh, last day is just a little bit of downriver. The game is comprised of two 10-minute halves, and upper body strength is high on the list of what's needed to be successful. So it takes a lot of explosive energy and um, fitness, quick fitness, um, to uh, win polo games. You need good core, nice balance, and just to be physically coordinated. There are rules to the game, of course, but most are designed with safety of the athletes in mind. So obviously, if you're holding onto the ball, you're not allowed to use your paddle to, to whack it away or anything like that. But you are, it does get uh, fairly aggressive. The boats are special boats with bumpers on them, so you're allowed to hit other boats. And on a hot summer day, what better place to be than on a lake where you have an instant refreshing system right underneath you. It doesn't matter how hot it is because you just flip over and pop back up and then you're cooled right down. Kayak polo is not an Olympic sport, but Scott says it would be great if that opportunity to be part of the games came along sooner rather than later. It's a very uh, spectator friendly sport. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the other sports are not quite as spectator friendly, especially uh, some of the other paddling sports, but um, I'd like to see those stay, those other paddling sports stay, and maybe the inclusion of canoe polo as well, just um, because it is very exciting. At Innisfail, Jim Claggett, Shaw TV.